Do you know what that is? That's mole moles. holes. Moles. Oh. Those are mole mole holes. Like Mrs. Mole. <laughs> Who's Mrs. Mole? Pig, Mrs. Mole? Oh, Mrs. Mole and Peppa Pig. Oh, the chicken. Oh, that's Mrs. Mole. Mrs. Mole. We've come out for a walk, a very, very cold, wintry walk. Um, you see everybody behind there? There's the brood. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've come out for a, for a Sunday stroll. It's very, very cold. There's Oz, can you see him? Where is he? Oz! Um, oh, it looks like it's been snowing. In fact, there were actually a few flurries a minute ago. I didn't think it was gonna start. It hasn't. But we are due some though. Um, I mean, this is a heavy frost, a very, very heavy frost. Um, mind you, I think I've got some people from Canada that watch me. This will be absolutely, <laughs> this will be absolutely nothing compared to what you have in Canada. I'm absolutely sure. But for us, for us Brits, this is cold. This is cold for us Brits. Um, but yeah, nice Sunday stroll. Um, cold day. It's, um, it really wakes you up. And it gives you an appetite for later. I think we're gonna have a roast later. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd come on and film a little bit of our walk for you. Um, oh God, I'll tell you what, New Year's resolution, resolution, <laughs> New Year's resolution, get fit. I've, I've got, obviously, I did start on my weight loss journey. It was very brief. I'm jumping back on it in the new year, though. I really am. Um, because yeah, there's no point in starting it heavily now, is there? Because let's be honest, Christmas is coming. Um, and I'm gonna just be eating everything in sight. <laughs> That's what Christmas is about, isn't it? It's one of the favorite things for me is the, is the food at Christmas. So yeah, in the new year, getting back on the weight loss, um, I promise. Uh, but yeah, for today, we're out for a walk. Say hello, Leo. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna film my Q&A when I get back later. Um, I've got a few, not loads of questions, but I've got a few questions that people have asked. So I'm gonna answer those later on when I get back. So there will be an up, a video uploading today. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody's having a lovely Sunday wherever you are. I hope you're all um, having a lovely day in this lovely cold weather. It's very Christmassy, it's so Christmassy. Um, it gets you excited, it gets you in the spirit, gets you in the, in the feels for Christmas, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh blimey, Dad's going to break it. <laughs> Wee. But that's not a very good sound.
Yeah. Leo's see? made a snowball and he's called it, what have you called it? Jack Frost Jr. Jack Frost Jr. It's a good name. I called Remember it Jolie. Jolie, oh that's a good name. Very good. Two snowballs. I can't believe, you see, that's a lot of frost isn't it? Yeah. To be able to make a snowball out of it. Oh, is that snow? I don't know. I reckon yeah. this is just snow to be honest. It <laughs> smells like snow. The train. The train. It's fine. You're not going to go in. Look at all that. Why? It's winter wonderland. It is like a winter wonderland, isn't it? It's very, um, it's very in time for Christmas. Hi, Sophie. I hope we have this or better for Christmas day. Wow. Well, you know what it's usually like? There's usually none for Christmas. Dad! Yeah. Do you know what I called my snowball? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone! Okay, so I'm back from our lovely wintry walk. It was extremely cold. We all came back literally shivering because it was Oh, it was very, very cold. If you're in the UK and you've been outside today, you will know what I mean. It's exceptionally cold. It's Baltic. Now, like I said, I think there are some people from Canada that watch me, so they're probably thinking, you've got no, <laughs> you've got no idea what it's like. But, oh, it was freezing. It was absolutely freezing. I was so glad to get back. I've sat in my, I've sat in my dressing gown for the past hour or so because it was just too cold. <laughs> um, I've got a cup of tea on the go in my... This is an old Gisella Graham mug that I got from a charity shop. Surprise, surprise. They're all from a charity shop, aren't they? I've got some new ones, but this was one of my charity shop finds. This is a Gisella Graham mug that I got a few years ago, found in a, in a charity shop. It's a bit chipped, but it does, it does for Christmas. It's fine. I've got a coffee on the go. I think I probably had about eight hot drinks today already. <laughs> I needed them, though, I tell you. Um, so, yeah, if you want to stick around and watch the rest of my, vid my video, friends, then... Then grab a cup of tea as well, a cup of coffee, whatever you fancy, and come in and join me. Um, if you are new to my channel, my name's Beck. I'm a 41-year-old mum of three children. I live in the Midlands, and I upload haul videos, day-in-the-life videos, um, a bit of cooking and cleaning every now and then as well. So if that's um, your kind of thing and you'd like to stick around, then, then if you could give me a like and a subscribe and perhaps hit the notification bell, that would be fantastic, and I'd appreciate it so much. If you're wondering, if you are new and you haven't been here before, you're wondering what this nutter's doing sat with this massive bow on her head. <laughs> um, this is part of, this is part of my festive headgear that I have been wearing all week long. And yes, I do wear this to work, to school, with the kids. They love it. I, I look like I'm going to take off any moment. Um, but this is my bow. This is my beautiful, beautiful bow that I bought last year. I love it. Um, yeah, this is this. I mean, this is the pinnacle of, of festive headgear, I think, isn't it? So, yeah, I thought I'd put it on for you today, guys. Thought I'd put it on for you, um, you know, as we are now so close to Christmas. I have my bell earrings on as well. Love it. <laughs> God, honestly, you must think I'm blooming crackers. You really must do. Um, but, yeah, uh, yeah, you, you know, it's, it's for the kids. It's for the kids. <laughs> Um, yeah, I am going to do my Q&A video today, which I said I was going to do about two weeks ago. But if, you, if you're if you not new to my channel and you know, I've, I've been a bit absent for the past few weeks. I've just been so busy. So I'm only just getting around to doing it. But thank you to everybody that um, that did, did put some questions in for me. I haven't got loads, but there's a few. So I'm going to answer them for you today. Um, yeah, I, I hope you're all good. I hope you're all well out there. I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. I hope you're all warm. I hope you're all inside and all warm. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, doing well because it is freezing. Ozzy, bless him, came back. He was absolutely shivering from our walk. Absolutely shivering. He's all um, wrapped up on the sofa, all, all snuggled up. The kids have fallen asleep, which isn't good, is it? If, you, if you're a parent, you know, you know, it's like a danger nap in the afternoon. But they, I couldn't stop him. Rich has been snoring his head off on the sofa. I've just had to give him a nudge and ask him to move. <laughs> Otherwise you'd hear it. All you'd hear is him snoring on this video. Um, I have my Yankee candle on the go in the background. It's the red, what is it? Red apple reef, it's called. Um, it's ever so nice. Really, really nice scent. So yeah, I've got um got my Christmas candle on. Got my Christmas decks. 
got my Christmas headgear and I'm going to answer a few bit, few questions for you. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Right, uh, the very first question I have is from a lady called Hannah Elizabeth. Hannah, if you're out there, hello my love. <laughs> One of my lovely subscribers. Um, she co quite often comments, so hi Hannah. <laughs> I hope you're all well, hope you're all good. And her question is, what's your favourite song that makes you feel happy? And do you know what? I'm not going to lie, this is a really hard one to, to answer really because I flipping love my music. I love songs. I have so many songs that I just adore that it's quite hard to pick. Um, but I would probably say that if I'm looking for a feel-good song, a feel-good song that gets me, you know, in the good feels i would say anything by lady gaga or beyonce a good old beyonce track you know they're pumping aren't they you know it gets really gets you gets you pumped um but yeah lady gaga i'm always listening to lady gaga i think she has a phenomenal voice absolutely phenomenal voice um i love listening to her live um you know i think she's, she's just amazing and beyonce as well um, so really, it's hard to pinpoint a specific song, it really is, because I've got such an eclectic taste in music as well, like, I love, you know, modern day stuff, but then I love all the old stuff as well, Fleetwood Mac, I adore Fleetwood Mac, Queen, you know, all the, all the golden oldies as well, I, I, I yeah, it's very, very hard to pinpoint, um, a specific song, because there are just so many that, um, that, you know, I, I can listen to and that, that make me feel good, but yeah, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, I can always put a bit of that on if I'm if I'm looking to be cheered up. Um, I quite often put something like that on. I love singing. I love singing. I'm always singing. Um, it's it's actually one of my favourite things to do is sing. Um, I ain't got too bad of a voice either. I don't ever say much like that about myself that I'm good at anything, but I am actually I can actually sing quite well. My mum said to me, "Why don't you do some singing on your channel?" But oh, I don't think I can. I might do one day, but I love singing. You know, music, it just has the ability to make you feel so good, doesn't it? And it can transport you. It can transport you to different times of your life, different memories. You know, you can hear a song and it can just take you back to a time or a, a place or, a, you know, a memory, something that's happened, a key moment in your life. Um, and yeah, music, it has such a powerful effect on us, I think. It's, um, it's really important. Music is so important and songs are so important as well. Um, so yeah, it's quite difficult to pinpoint that one, Anna, Hannah, but I hope that's kind of, kind of answered that question for you. <laughs> um, question number two is from a, a lovely lady called Just, uh, she's from the channel Just A Regular Mum. And her question is, what is your Christmas Eve tradition and why? Well, we have a few Christmas Eve traditions. The majority of them um, are centred um, heavily around food. <laughs> Believe it or not, what a surprise. Um, we have, obviously, we have our Christmas Eve box, which is a massive tradition. I've been doing that for, for many years now. Christmas Eve box, which I think is quite standard, isn't it, in a lot of houses now, um, you know, for, for families with children. I do a Christmas Eve box for my children and they love it. I put all sorts in it, a lot of... New pyjamas, that's that's a tradition in itself on Christmas Eve, is new pyjamas. They all get new pyjamas to wear on Christmas Eve. They go in the Christmas Eve box, and they all get a new mug, um, they all get a hot chocolate, lots of just lots of little different bits really. Um, I actually find the Christmas Eve box fantastic for um, Christmas Eve. And this, this kind of answers the question of why my, my Christmas Eve traditions are what they are. And to be honest, a Christmas Eve box is a big help on Christmas Eve because, you know, it's quite a busy day, isn't it? It can be anyway. There's, you're often getting a lot ready and the children are so excited and so pumped up. I think that a Christmas Eve box is brilliant because you can give them that. It, the ones that I do have lots of activities in. It's just, you know, nothing elaborate, just colouring books, um, stickers, all the sort of things that kids like. Christmassy bits in there. Um, paper chains I do a lot of paper chains as well the kids love the paper chains um, so yeah I, and I can give them that on Christmas Eve they can sit down and they that that will keep them happy for hours stick a Christmas tele a Christmas film on the television that's another Christmas Eve tradition have to have a Christmas movie on on Christmas Eve because yeah you know 
it um, gets you in the feels for Christmas as well, doesn't it? So yeah, Christmas Eve box is a massive tradition in our house. Also, food-wise, um, I always have to cook my Christmas Eve, my Christmas Eve gammon. Um, I always do that on Christmas Eve. That's that takes we and we use that all over the festive period, which I'm, I'm sure everybody, lo most people do, don't they? We have to have a Christmas Christmas gammon. I do that on Christmas Eve, and I kind of do it with like um, honey and a bit of treacle and a bit of mustard. And I cook it in Coke, which I know sounds weird, but it was a Nigella Lawson recipe that I got a long time ago. Um, and it's fantastic. It, it makes it really flavours the meat nicely. So I always do my Christmas gammon on Christmas Eve. Um, and yeah, baking with the kids. One of the things I always put in their Christmas Eve box is um, like, like a box to make gingerbread, you know, Christmas um, cupcakes, something like that. We always do something like that on Christmas Eve, make something baking wise. Um, so yeah, they are they are my main Christmas traditions. When I was younger, I can remember we always used to go and see family on Christmas Eve, but we don't we don't do that now because we always see family over Christmas. Um, we don't tend to see as many people as we used to when we were younger. I don't think um, you know a lot of relatives live away, and so we don't tend to go around and see family on Christmas Eve as much. Um, but yeah, they they are my main family tradition so i hope that answers that question for you lovely um question number three is from katie cat and her question is what is your favorite holiday memory place slash place and why um right i had a i had to think about this and i would have to say it's a bit of an odd one um but absolutely 100 percent. i would say the best holiday that we had the best place we've ever been to is Qatar which I know sounds weird but we went there about um probably about 12 years ago now when Max was very young basically my dad went to live out there for a couple of years to work um and we went out there to spend um some time with him it was a bit funny because you say a holiday it didn't it was quite a strange one because back then Qatar just wasn't a place you went to obviously the World Cup's there this year um and we did have our reservations about going because, um, you know, we were told that, you know, that obviously you have to be careful in public not to show affection or anything like that. You have to be very modest. And, you know, we had heard some stories about, you know, it's um, you have to be careful when you're out there, how you're behaving and stuff. So we didn't really know what to expect, but we honestly had one of the most amazing holidays we've ever had. Um, it was fantastic. The country was just beautiful. Um we stayed in um, Doha where, where my dad was living and um, he had the most beautiful house that he was staying in at the time and yeah it just had such an amazing feel to it the country did it was the culture the the, the different culture was amazing um, we we went out to what I think they're called the souks I can't remember the markets the traditional markets and had a look around those um, uh, one one time and that was fantastic it was amazing um, we went out to the desert um, and we camped, we, we went out and had a barbecue on the edge of the sea looking out over and I think we could see Saudi Arabia in front of us and there was just nobody around it was just empty it was it was I'll never forget that that was a that was an uh, that's an amazing memory that, that I've got from that um and yeah just the whole place it was just a really really wonderful feel about about that about the whole country um Obviously, it, it has some very negative connotations, doesn't it, um, towards they, in their views out there, um, which which isn't which isn't great. Um, but the country on a whole, for us when we went to visit it, we 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 enjoyed it. It was a nice place to go to. Um, it was very different, very very different. We, we've been to other places. We've been to Turkey. We've been to. Oh, we've been, where else have we been? New York, all different places like that. But I think this was just a very different experience for a holiday. Um, so, yeah, we, we really enjoyed it out there. Um, ooh, what's the next question? Question number four, Penny. Uh, what made you decide to do YouTube? Right, well, <laughs> I would say my one main driving force behind wanting to do YouTube was the fact that um, I felt for quite a while that I was... Um, kind of lost myself a little bit and I think a lot of mums will probably be able to relate to this um I kind of felt like I was just my whole life was just centered around being a mum which is fantastic because I love it I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do anything else 
you know, I do work, I work part time and works around the children, but I kind of felt like I didn't have anything for myself as such, not particularly any hobbies. Um, and I've watched YouTube for years and I love watching YouTube. I, I, it's, it's one of my favourite things to do. And I always fancied having a go at, at doing my own channel. Um, but I never had the confidence because I have struggled with confidence all my life, which probably seems strange, like coming from somebody who is doing YouTube and has a YouTube channel. Um, because you probably would think that it, you have to be quite confident to do it, but you really, really don't, honestly. Um, like I have had confidence issues all my life. It was all I was ever told growing up was I needed more confidence. And I've, I'm quite a shy person. I'm quite a reserved person in a lot of respects. Um, but I kind of felt like I got to my 40s and I needed to push myself to do something. And I kind of thought, why not give YouTube a go? Why not give it a go? It might help um, boost my confidence a little bit. I might get to meet some some lovely people, which I have. Um, and um, yeah, just, just put myself out there a bit and um, do something for myself. I think that was one of the main things is to just do something that's just for me. Um, and just what something that i enjoy and i really really enjoy it honestly if, if you're if you're out there and you're thinking to yourself i would really really love to have a go at doing youtube but you don't quite feel like you have the confidence to do it honestly i know it's it's what people say but just just go for it give it a go because honestly you really surprise yourself at, um at, at how 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 fun it can be how much confidence it can give you um and how you know how fun it is to do really so yeah, I'd say they, they, they are my main reasons for, for starting a YouTube channel and I'm so glad I did because, yeah, like, like I keep saying, I'm really enjoying it. I really, really am enjoying doing it. It takes a lot of time. I underestimated how much time you would need to do YouTube and to have a channel. There's a lot of time that goes into the filming and the editing as well. Um, it takes a long time because that, that was a lesson in itself, learning how to edit. Um, there's, there's a lot to it, but I'm, I'm enjoying even just that aspect of it. I really, really enjoy it. So I would say if you ever, ever feel like you want to do a YouTube channel, just go for it, my friends. Just go for it. You've got absolutely nothing to lose. And, you know, you could end up, um, you know, really enjoying it. So, yeah, that's 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 the answer to that question. Um, my next question is from this is from Leanne, Leanne Jones. This is Leanne Jones, who I spoke about yesterday um lovely leanne <laughs> if you haven't checked out her channel yet go go and go and go and have a look because she's lovely um her question is what is your favorite christmas movie and song well i know this this is easy to answer my absolute all-time ultimate favorite christmas movie is the muppets christmas carol i have i remember first watching it as a child with my best friend a roof we we must have watched that film probably near on 100 times, and I'm not even exaggerating. We used to watch it all year long. If you have never watched The Muppets Christmas Carol, give it a go. It has everything in it. It's just, to me, it's just like the perfect Christmas movie. <laughs> I don't know. There are so many. Because, I mean, I love Elf, you know. Oh, there's The Grinch. I love all of them. These are my top tier, top tier Christmas films. But The Muppets Christmas Carol just, just peaks it for me. Just, just you know tips it a bit purely because i've watched it since i was a little girl and i just love it it's just one of my fa it is my absolute favorite christmas films so if you haven't ever watched them up it's christmas carol i would highly recommend it i really would i love it and in regards to my favorite christmas song it's got to be hands down i mean yet again there are just loads of christmas songs i could list reel off a list as long as my arm but i think the top the top one for me that when I hear this come on the radio, I just know it's, it's Christmas. And that is Mariah Carey. Hello, Mariah. <laughs> All I want for Christmas. It's that is just Christmas, isn't it? You can't you can't not hear that and think Christmas is here. Christmas is here. It's just got everything. You hear that tune come on and yeah, it's just, oh, I love it. It's, it is my ultimate favourite Christmas song without a doubt. But there are many, there are many, many Christmas songs. I just love Christmas music. I really do. So yeah, that would be they my fate. That's my favourite film and my favourite Christmas song. Um, and my last question is from Tanya McCulloch. I hope I pronounced that right. I hope I have Tanya. I really do. Another lovely lady. She she comments a lot on my channel. Hello, lovely. <laughs> Her question is: What is your favourite ever charity shop find? 
Uh, well, well, I've had a thought, think about this and it probably sounds a bit silly, really, because it's, um, you know, it's just a mug. But it's got to be my Ray Dunn mug that I found um, it, only a couple of months ago, actually. Considering I've been going to charity shops. Sorry, I've got a bit of an itch on me now, so I'm not picking it. Um, considering I've been going to charity shops for a while now, um, that was a find for, from a couple of months ago. And I just love it. Um, Ray Dunn, if you know, you know that I do love Ray Dunn. And it was always one of my dreams to find a Ray Dunn piece, whether it be a mug. I mean, mug was my ultimate find, would be would have been my ultimate find, and I did find one. But yeah, anything Ray Dunn related to finding a charity shop, I was always um, quite excited for. And, and I did, I found one. I found a Ray Dunn mug. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe I found one, really, because you don't see a lot of Ray Dunn. I think I said before, it's like an, more of an American thing, and you can only really get it from TK Maxx here. So I was really, really pleased to find that and I love it and I oh, I use it all the time. I, I adore it. But all my Kath Kidston mugs as well. All my Kath Kidston mugs because, yeah, if you know, you know that, that I love a mug. I'm a mug for a mug. I always say that. <laughs> but there have been so many lovely finds over the past few years that I've found. And I'm sure there'll be many, many more um, wonderful treasure finds as well that, that I will be, that I'll be finding. And you'll, you'll know, you'll know because, you know, I will be putting them out uh, on a video for you. Um... So yeah, that's my Raiden's got to be my ultimate find so far. Um, so yeah, that's all my questions, guys. Thank you so much to everybody that that, that sent me those questions. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd do a little Q&A um, just to let you get to know me a little bit more. It's hard to, to sort of, um, you know, really put across, um, you know, a lot about yourself through a video on YouTube um, because... You know, you, you, you're only talking for a short amount of time, but I really like to get to know somebody on YouTube, like the people that I that I watch. I do really feel like I've got to know them well. Um, it's funny. It's funny, YouTube is. It's, um, it's a wonderful place. It is, really is a wonderful place. You can meet some lovely, lovely people, and I have. Um, and the people that I love to watch are so lovely and so genuine. Um, so, yeah, I, I, you know, I'd love to get to know all of you as, as much as I can, and... And yeah, so I thought this would be a nice way to, to connect with you all a little bit more. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I haven't bored you. <laughs> I, that wasn't my aim. If anything, you know, you just, you know, this could hopefully put a, put a smile on your face. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have watched this video, thank you so much. And like, I, like I've said before, if, if you are new here, and, and, and you've enjoyed this video, if you give me a like and a subscribe, I would really would appreciate it so much. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I get great excitement when I see a new subscriber. It's so wonderful. Um, it's one of the joys of my day to see a new subscriber pop up. And I really, really do appreciate it. I really, really do. You're all such lovely people. The comments that people give me, um, I really do have some wonderful subscribers and I do appreciate it all so much. So yeah. The love, the love is around. It's a lovely time of year, isn't it? I think everybody's feeling, you know, feeling warm and fuzzy at the moment, aren't we? Although I say that, it's not like that for everybody. I do appreciate that. Um, there's a lot of stress in the world at the minute. Um, and I just hope that if you are going through hard times at the minute, that, you know, you have people there to support you. Um, places like this, if you ever need anybody to talk to, just drop me a message. I'm always here for anybody. If you need a need need somebody to speak to, um, then I, I'm always here to talk to. Um, and know that whatever you're doing, you're doing really, really well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for for watching today, guys. I will be back again very soon with with another video. Um, but until then, take care of yourselves, lovely people. Um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a lovely day, and I will see you soon. Bye.